All right. Hello there, my Algebra 2 peeps. How are we doing today? Now, today we're going to focus on a concept you should already know, order of operations. This is a review from Algebra 1, but let's get the information out there. Let's make sure we know what's going on before we get deeper in the chapter and we have to retract and learn some new stuff. So, order of operations. Now, you've probably been taught a cool little acronym. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please end my day at school pink elephants marching down the street whatever it is it takes for you to remember it use whatever you got but PEMDAS is the popular one alright and let's remember what these stand for P is for parentheses first parent oop, can't spell good thing I'm a math teacher parentheses second we go for the exponents then we go to our multiplication. Then we go to our division. On to addition. And lastly, subtraction. Now, one thing I want to say is you always start with parentheses, but then I like to highlight these two together, and I like to highlight these two together. Now, I like to call these guys cousins. All right, multiplication and division are sim are cousins, and addition and subtraction are cousins. Because we just have to be careful. When that's all that's left in a problem, we've done all the other stuff first. We have to use our left to right rule. All right, in which we just move left to right. So um, all I got is two examples for you. This is a short, quick video to start out the year. So let's look at example one. Let's go negative eight plus five times the quantity 1 minus negative 3 and we'll raise that to the third power. Now it says start with parentheses first so we're looking inside our outermost parentheses. So when we do that we have 1 minus negative 3 so keep change change 1 minus negative 3 subtracting a negative is the same as adding so I have negative 8 plus 5 times 1 plus 3 is 4 to the third power. So now we're looking at addition, multiplication, and exponents. So A, M, and E. A is down here, M and E, so we're going to start with exponents. So negative 8 plus 5 times 4 to the third gives you 64. All right, now once we have that, we have negative 8 plus 320, I believe. Check my math. All right, and then negative 8 plus 320 gives me 312. All right, pretty simple. Let's look at another one here. Let's look at number 2. So let's do 36 divided by 12 times negative 2 to the third. Okay, so we have division, multiplication, and exponents. All right, so again, we look at exponents first. So we have 36 divided by 12. Negative 2 to the third is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Oh, sorry. So that's an odd power. Whenever we have an odd power, we're going to get a negative result. All right, so that gives me negative 8. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So I have 36 divided by 12 times 8. Now, this goes back to we're only left with division and multiplication. So since they're cousins, you use the left to right rule. We do not do multiplication first. Now, if this was addition, we would do multiplication first because that always comes first. But when it's just these two families left, all right, we have to go left to right. So we actually do 36 divided by 12 first, which gives me 3 times negative 8, which results in negative 24. All right, and that's all I got. So check it. See you later.